drop. Oh, pink with the Jeff coach. Okay. This drop's actually super solid. This is nothing, bro. This plane drop is really solid. It's low key as, but it's good. It's got 100 shield worth of barrels, so many chests. You got fish now. You can fish using the new Hades chains, which is even better. One is he? Literally one. Literally one. Oh my god, literally one. Literally one. All right, Marius is going Underworld. No surprise there. Interesting to see him again, not going Grim Gate, but looks like he'd rather lock down Underworld and then rotate across. Yeah, bro, Marius, our best chance today of watching a high kill game. Hopefully, hopefully. Vico's dropping at this little spot outside of Mount Olympus. Not a bad spot. It's got a lot of different loot around it. The fact he's already got the chains could be really good for going and fishing up loot at the fishing hole. Good shield, too. He's only got two builds, which kind of scares me right now. Two builds. He's got a shotgun, though. So you got to think Vico has the advantage here. EMP. Lob an EMP in. EMP that bitch. Yeah. Nice. I should be a pro player. Now, I would be, I'd be so good if it just wasn't for, like, you know, being an old man with zero mechanics and rest cards already dead. Wow. The hell happened to rest card? Rest card already out, man. What? Cammy's also a grim gate. Looking good. Oh, Leshy. Pistol shotgun, not a bad loadout here, actually. Really good material as well. Leshy's actually gotten pretty stacked pretty quickly. Just outside Mount Olympus. Looks like the majority of players are dropping either on the outskirts of Mount Olympus or directly into one of the Underworld or Grim Gate POIs. Oh, did Vico crash? Oh no, Vico stream crashed. Oh, Rezon. Come on. We're struggling here today, Rezon. Come on, I need you to pop off here. We're going to need some wins right now. It's looking real rough for the Believers. Oh, 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 no. Fast! We're off to an astronomically terrible start. Wow, this is a bad start for the Believers. Holy good God. Thank God we got some, some substitutes we can bring in here because good Lord, it's looking bad. That's right, Vadil's got this from one German go to another. Oh my God, we're missing everything. What is happening? Oh, this guy's actually pretty solid. Oh, no. Wait, what is happening? We did assemble the Avengers. They're just getting shit on. Oh, my God. Who is this? Who are we versing right now? This might be a pro playing off stream. Remember, EU top 11,500 players qualify. So it's fair to expect that not every player is going to be good. But this guy is this guy is Thanos right now. Oh my god. He has zero builds. Vico's in such a bad spot right now. Nice little angle. I like that. But what's he going to do now with zero builds? I have a feeling we'll recognize this name if he doesn't have Anonymous on. This will be someone we know. Yeah, Vico's running. Vico respects it. He's like, bro, I'm not versing this guy. Oh, big pot. Big pot spotted, but he needs to disengage. He's got no material if he gets pushed here. Looks like they're both going to hit a mutual respect disengage. I would have loved to see who that was. Is that not pink? No, pink jobs here, but he's long gone. That would have been hilarious, though, if it was a duo. So what's your bets on? Who do you think that was? With EU, it's so hard to predict. That could have just been like a random tier two pro. Oh, here we go. Marco's going to try and push Grim Gate. Boss is being locked down. Marco's trying to be quiet here. Sneaky Finn, he's getting in. Oh, nice. He gets the shotgun, but he puts himself in a really bad spot. He overextends for it. No. The death slam and everything. One of the most consistent solo players in the world, not just on EU. Marco has fallen. They are falling. <coughs> Things are looking bad. Come on, Lashley, you win these. Nice, good med still. Got one med kit, two minis. Decent amount of material. We can win this. It's definitely winnable. She's back on control. He's giving up on the mouse and keyboard. Oh, nah. Oh my god. Nebs, it was Nebs. Yeah. Pro v pro. Okay. I mean, hey, the videos are, are wins and fails for a reason. Today's video might just be more fails than wins. You know, it's how it goes sometimes. I mean, it would've, hopefully, it would've Marius is at least one free win. Nice. Marius did win two games last week. So, hopefully, Marius is an easy win here. This is a very weird boss fight. Why is it taking place on top of a gigantic top? What am I seeing? Oh my Jiven base. Why are there 17 boxes here? Homie had some brick to work with. Oh no, we didn't get the shotgun. We got the medallion. That's the main part. Oh, there we go. Nice. Marius looking good. Double medallion, double mythic for Marius. Fantastic start. 
There are so many boxes here. I think he took down the player who built all these boxes. Who is this? This person's solid as well. Very confident. Very aggressive. Looks like over-aggressive, unfortunately, for them. Who is this? This might be someone we recognize as well. Oh, beautiful play. It's Kiro, of course. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Definitely someone we recognize. <laughs> Dude, watching a bunch of pro-on-pro -pro violence today. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Marius takes down Kiro for his seventh kill of the game. So he's got only one sniper bullet. Damn. Been taking a lot of shots. Sniper, sniper ammo is tough to find this season, but only one bullet. My man's been sniping a lot, and oh my god, the phasing, it's so nice. He's so good at it. I felt like the zero point phasing was so much harder this season, but Marius makes it look so easy. Nice. Even with three shots, he's still able to peace control the cone with the shotgun. Well played. Nine eliminations. Marius might be dropping our first EU 30 bomb of the season. There's only been one kill. There's only been one game over 30 kills this season. That was reached 39 kills. Peterbot dropped 29 last week as well. So we'll see. And oh my lordy, Marius is looking good to do it. We'll just combine the React video with the extra antics video. Just have it all in one, you know? Just watch Marius this whole time. Because jeez, my man is running through this lobby. This is very, very good pacing right now. Oh, Venno. Venno's only got two Elans. are playing very aggressive. Venno deciding to drop. Over at Grim Gate. So last week, Venno was dropping not at the new POIs. He was dropping a little bit more low key, and it didn't seem to work too hard. I think he was working, dropping at Ritzy Riviera, I think it was. Or one of those kind of drops. So let's see. Oh, Plaza. Oh, Might be in the Plaza. Oh, no, Piazza? Either way. He was dropping a non mythic POI, and it wasn't working too well. Let's see how it goes now. He's dropping uh, Grim Gate. Oh, this player seems somewhat decent too. Not too crazy, but leading with a bit of good pace. But Noah Riley, good play style from Noah here. Noah's smart enough to know when he doesn't need to build. He needs to just hold out his shotgun. Oh, this player is decent. Yeah, this player is holding really good angles right now. I think Noah. Oh, fuck you! Beautiful crouch strafe. That was nice. We often talk about movement as in like movement during build fights, but just that was just straight that up movement difference. Kid, fat kid, fat that kid. crouch hard left strafe, one shot left was clean. Noah Riley had no builds to work with there, so he played that very well. Nice aim here from Venno. Man, a lot of the pros here playing a lot more aggressive than what we used to see in the Victory Cup finals. Everyone going for those big kill games. Oh, he's fighting over the weapon bunker. That's why. No, this the weapon bunker's not even here. Never mind. Weapon bunker is over there. Actually, just playing aggressive because he can, I guess. Oh, way too close. But we have secured Zeus Medallion. Very nice. Oh, that seems decent. Let's see. Man, so far, EU. Showing these uh, solo Victory Cup finals lobbies are not easy. I know Marius has 13 kills. Sounds dumb saying that, but for 11,500, you really think there'd be some more scrubs in these lobbies. There's some solid players. Bro, this guy is so annoying. Marius is not having fun versus this player. So much time on him. This might be a skill that Marius needs to learn to disengage. It might be worth just leaving this player for another another time. If he's trying to drop a 30 or 40 bomb, that's a skill a lot of the NA guys have learned. Sometimes the fight's just not worth it. Peterbot's actually surprisingly good at that. Peterbot's aggressive, but if he versus a player like this, he will just disengage and verse them later. Because this guy could ruin the whole game. And oh my god, never mind. Peterbot's Bro, a pussy. Just... And Marius is the greatest player to ever touch this game mechanically right now. Holy shit. Even a player this good, playing like this defensive, Marius is still finding angles on him. Jeez. And now he's running. Like nothing Marius has done in this fight is extremely insane. No. It's more just the fact he's doing it against another competent player. So this guy. Oh my god. Oh, that guy was solid. Trying to find, like, good, safe peaks on players moving that well is really hard. Ooh, Malabuka getting the only pair of wings in the game right now. So the wings have been vaulted in competitive except for at the island. So Malabuka now in possession of the only set of wings in the game. And he's dropping them? What are we doing here? Are we trying to bait this? Are we building, like, a little... Are we going to tank zone with the extra meds? I'm, I'm very confused what's happening right now. Am I stupid? What are we doing? Oh, we're trying to consolidate all the loot. Okay, that makes sense. There we go. Okay, we're trying to consolidate all the loot together. Yep, three, four. Is it a complete guy? No. 
But you have the spice. 46 so alive, two elements for the deal yeah, on half half. So some of these games are a lot more stacked than others. Malabuka's found himself in one of those decently stacked games. Just outside fencing. Malabuka does have zone reveal. This could be a very easy win for one of the best solo players we have here. I wonder how I wonder how EU kids are gonna explain Marius getting a 40 bomb. Because when Reed, Peterbot, and Cold drop high kill games, it's because NA sucks and the lobby's terrible. When EU does it, I'm very interested to see how their brain flips that one. I wonder if it'll force them to actually admit that maybe some of the EU kids aren't that great either. Maybe. Probably not though. Marius is just that good, maybe. Ooh, nice, Vico. 12 elements for Vico, yeah, but he's looking pretty weak. Plenty of meds, just has to have time to get them off. Now, without the wings, we'll see if this goes to heal off. No Riley has fallen. We'll see if this goes, goes to heal off now with no wings. I think it will. I think most of these lobbies are still going to go to heal off. Nice shot. Ooh, 103. Be careful. It could end right here. One big pump. Oh, Marius. This is where it starts to get sketchy. You push that extra little bit to hit that extra one shot. Kid hits a bailout, and that's it. The 40 bomb's gone. You can see Mario starting to play a little bit slower. He's starting to question every single angle, which does scare me a little bit for the 40 bomb. Got to keep that pace up. He doesn't even stop to pop the second big, though. So Mario's still feeling confident. And I like this. He finds an easier target. There's that skill I was talking about on NA, but 75 HP. Mario's struggling now. He's on the back foot. Nice, disengaged, but this is really costing Marius a lot of time right now. This is quite a few minutes he's spent on these fights to not get a lot of E-limbs. Not many people are dying in the lobby, though, so it might be okay. Meanwhile, Vadil trying to get a fight of his own. Vadil trying to pick up his third e -limb, so pretty safe gameplay from Vadil so far. Meanwhile, Asian Jeff has pink in a... Not best spot of zone right now. It looks like he's trying to get a refresh before rotating, but pink's going to have to start moving soon. Oh, pink. He's going to greed for the loot in zone. Could end up costing him with the heal off. We'll see, though. Gains a bunch of floppers. Eight floppers now. Looking good. 26 alive. 13 elements for Vico. Seems like a few of the pros now in rotating zone starting to come a bit unstuck. The pressure getting to him. Oh, Vico gets out of that one. Nice expansion from Vico. Marius now. 24 kills, so Marius hasn't really gained any kills in the last few minutes. He's been spending a lot of time. There's still 30 alive, though. Really stacked game. So Marius is lucky right now. The 40 bomb is still on the cards, but he's going to have to pick up the pace. His rotating zones have been a little bit rough for him so far. Ooh, nice. Nice. There we go. Okay, beautiful. Nice rotate as well. Getting himself deep towards next zone. Vico gets in and gets another kill. Malabuka has gone down. Malabuka has fallen as well. Losing a lot of our pros today. 25 Elims, 23 alive for Marius. So we're going to get 15 of the next 22 opponents to try to make this happen. I think the 40 bombs off the cards. I'm not going to lie. We'll see. I think 30 bomb, very, very possible. Looking very likely, but 40 bomb, we'll see. Marius going to have to hold it together. Vico jumps up to 15 kills now. 21 alive for Vico. He's going to pick up extra med kits too. Seven floppers, three med kits for Vico. Vadil still playing that low ground. Only 21 alive for Vadil. Not that stacked, actually. This game is pretty dead. Podesai trying to do it for the Frenchies. Nine no, E-limbs, but no. Podesai goes down. It's looking rough out here to get the win on EU, but Marius, 29 E-limbs. We are one off 30. He's got the high ground as well. He's going to have to give this up, though. He's not going to get enough kills off this high ground. He's got to drop down. I think Marius is looking for the 40... Make it a 30 bomb. 10 of the next 13 is going to be extremely hard. But hey, a 30 kill game on EU is absurd in the finals. He's not done yet. He's not done yet. Honestly, even if Marius loses this, fully expect me to go back and watch this entire game play out. Don't worry, we're going to come back and watch the whole Marius game. I want to see how this man does it from start to finish. Two Elims, 19 alive for Vadil. Vadil has also got a bit of a heal off ready. I haven't checked what Marius' heal off is. I need to check on that in a second. I don't think his game will go to heal off, but honestly, it might. Two flops, three med kits. Not bad. Not bad at all. He's still trying to keep up the pace. Can he handle the pressure? Gets hit hard. Does some counter damage, though. Takes the high ground with the dash effect. He's got on this player's back. He knows they're weak. Gets the cone through. Puts him in the cone, and the player edits down through the floor. 
That player did not panic to get it, to get put in the cone. He needs to get every remaining kill for the 40 bomb. 39 kills is currently the record from Reed. Marius might be able to do it here. He needs to keep this pace going, though. He's struggling to eliminate these players on this deep rotating zones. Meanwhile, Pink's still going. Vico has fallen. Vadil's still in this one as well. Only 13 life of Vadil's game. Pink's trying to look for that refresh on in a little bit of an elevated layer. Six builds, one flopper. Things are looking very rough for Pink. Pink gets some damage. He's trying to find the refresh. Can't get the cone through. The mantle's messing him up. Marius, though. Got a player outside the box. No builds. Marius needs to put him down. The 40 bomb has slipped through his fingers. But still a fantastic game nonetheless. 32 kills. Hits the player on low ground for Weiss. This probably won't go to heal off. If it does, though, Marius is ready. This shotgun right now. The reload time is beautiful. Marius is putting down so much pressure. Rat bitch in the dirt. Two more elims for a 34 elim win here. Here we go. 1v1. 34 kill win for Marius. 26 tag. Whittling him down. Marius has zone control right now with meds. This player might even try to play the heal off early. We know how this one ends though. Unless he has a lot of heal off. Marius goes for it. Marius goes in his zone. This could have been the mistake. 30 seconds left, but no, Let's it's go. not a mistake because Marius is too That's damn good. How many kills? 34 kill win. My good Lord. He is the GOAT. Marius is definitely on the astronomical blow up right now. 34 kill win in EU finals. We will be watching that entire game play out. Don't worry. I might be uploading two Marius videos two days in a row. I only uploaded one today. And I think I'll be uploading another one tomorrow. I uploaded the video from his last games last week today. Pink though, 1v1v1. He's got three med kids left. Pink coached by Jeff. Can he do it? I think Vadil just won. Did Vadil just win? It says zero, but I don't know if that's point bug. Vadil might have just won. Right there, right there. More med kids. Should I go down now? Oh, do what your heart desires, mate. Do what your heart desires oh, is the comm by Jeff. Honestly, fantastic comms this? here I'm from the coach. What? No, man. Top three. I don't oh, know there's... if he wins this. Oh, Flop is the add heal Storm Sickness. That's good. He can add heal a couple ticks of Storm Sickness. How are there three people alive? Good Lord. What is this game? He's not even second? How? <gasps> Oh no, man. Five med kits, nine floppers, 12 chugs, man. Oh, no, man. I was going oh, crazy, Jeff. Man. How is that not enough? Ooh, making the Fizzbury jar look good here. A little bit sketchy. Trying to save as many mats as we can by using that low grab as much as possible. Does leave you open to getting pumped. We still have 40 Fizzbury jar left. We're going to have to burn through all of that here. We'll probably save a little bit like of it, though. Just for the low grab effect for each rotate we need. No, we're going to burn through all of it. Interesting. Then again, we are on final rotating zone. So to be fair, most of this rotate will be done pretty close to box-to-box clo -box topping. We're not going to spend too long trying to rotate ahead. We're slowly running out of mats here. I think we might have enough mats to close this out. Not if we get aggressively pushed like this, though. That pump might be costing Jakey the game here. We have plenty of white heals. We don't have any shield left. Big tag. Trying to rotate away from this one. The problem is he just burned through a lot of material he needed right now. 70 HP, no shield. Tries to hit the side jumps. The builds get chopped. The focus from high ground's coming out. Jakey is in the crosshair. Gets even more meds on the low ground. There's a Fizzberry jar there as well. He can't get it. Gets extra med kits. So many meds, but no material. Where are the builds? There's metal right there. Jakey doesn't Ooh, see man, it. So, no. I, just needed, I, just, I was just second high. I just... Damn, that one pump just like kind of forced him to move and everything came unstuck. We had the loadout. Just got hit too hard. Unlucky. All right, we've, we've gone through a lot of material here. We've gone through a decent amount of meds. Not too many. We've still got enough meds to play this game out. We are going to need to get a refresh on the white heels. Not a super stacked game, though. Only 20 live. We also have four cards, which helps a lot. Good job. The bounce back should be pretty good here. Nice tag. That's Nako's refresh right there. That's the refresh. Can't phase in. The play is gone. Zero build. Two meds. If you have to play them, you have to play them, but we'll see. No, I've got to go for the win. Okay. Careful back from Storm. Nice. Nice, Mecca. 300 mats. And you got three mats. I think there's actually make his there. But that's all right. This game might not even go to heal off. Not a super stacked game here for Nako. He drops the purple SMG for the pause. blue burst. Only 13 bells, so you need to kill half your box. Eight bells. All good. Nice. Good Five. rotates. Oh, we're out of material. Dead zero mats right now. Sketchy spot if high ground looks at him. Or if anyone above him looks at him. Oh, in the box. Big tag. 
The zombie superhero. Little Cami skin. Oh, we're in the box. Nice. nice so he's Seti skin. It's not Seti though. Good, job, bro. Good material back. refresh there for Nako. Vamos! Come on! We might win this. Is it, is it I think it's been a minute since we've seen Nako win one of these solo victory yeah. cup games. My man was the absolute second, legend of hitting the balloon rotates. Oh, if you remember, you remember. Yeah. Classic solo oh, victory gosh. cup content. Nice. Nako just blasting popular white girl music not those, not <laughs> while sad, flying though. through endgame, literally. Oh no. Six. Oh, six med kits though. He only tanked. He, he didn't take that much zone damage there. That was mostly yeah. player damage, which is good for the storm sickness. We're on low ground now in a top six situation with dead zero material though. We got the meds to take our time, but storm sickness, always a big concern in these lobbies. Oh, play Joss in behind him. 25 HP. Oh, nice shot. Nice movement. No siphon though. No siphon. No. He still wanted HP as well. What the fuck? That guy was 100, 100. Nako unfortunately doesn't win that one. Holy 17 kills for Kiro. Jeez. 18 kills for Kiro. Okay, buddy. Damn. All right. We've got a new player on the block. Kiro entering the 30 bomb realm here. One of very few players at the moment looking oh, like they might actually drop a 30 bomb on EU. That's until I watch them and then curse them. Of course. Yeah, Kiro was the player that Marius took down earlier in his 34 kill win, so... Looks like the only player who can stop Kira right now is Marius. 18 kills with 17 alive. The 30 bomb is going to be very tough though. 12 of the next 16 would be hard, but still a fantastic game nonetheless. Oh, hot. Oh yeah, Kira and, Kira, Kira and Kido had a big pop-off last season. Actually, Kira and Marius are both very similar players in that regard. Both really good, really aggressive, and they both got massive FNCS placements last season to give them a little bit more uh, exposure when it comes to how good they are, not just at W King. Also very skilled, high-level competitive players. 30 bombs still doable, but we need every remaining kill. I don't think that's going to happen. Three med kits, double mythic. We've honestly got really good loadout right now. A little bit more hard mats is pretty much the only thing we're missing right now. And we are going for high ground. Oh! Low grab jump into the zero point dash. That was beautiful. Oh my god. Very, very nice high ground take from Kiro there. Ooh, okay. A little swanton as well. We don't want high ground for long. Oh, never mind. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, this is one way to do it. 30 bombs off the cards, but a 23 kill game so far here for Kiro. This player has no idea there's someone above him. I'm not sure where we were looking when we decided to take height there, but we definitely didn't look up. I'm not sure where we were looking, but this guy just ramped up so confident there was no one on high ground. 24 kills. Man, he's just making it look so easy. I'm starting to think, yeah, the Mythic shotgun is definitely better. The fast reload, but only having three shots is definitely better than five shots with a slower reload. Especially for solos. Duo is debatable, but solo is 100%. You can just apply so much more pressure and so much more damage. You almost have infinite ammo as long as you don't get in because the reload on this shotgun is so fast. All right, top four. Can Kiro hold on? His aim has been extremely good. Let's see if it continues. It's not going to go to heal off, so I can't see how he loses this to that. I don't think he loses this. Top three. Both these players looking kind of weak down below as well. One of them popping splashes in zone. The other one's getting buried. They're fighting each other. 1v1. Kira with hopefully a 26 kill win here in EU finals. Very impressive performance. It just sucks when someone drops a 34 kill win at the start because it makes even games like this just seem not that impressive. When last week, this was like an absurdly impressive game on EU. Marius just yoinking the spotlight from everyone. 200 wood. Playing this slow. Kiro's respecting this opponent. He's taking his time with it. This player's getting nice pre-fires through. He's trading the damage back. Every time Kiro sprays, he pumps back. This player is not going to be an easy push over here. Kiro gets the peace control. Can't get the cone through though. Blocks off the wall. Knows the player has to come out the top. He's out of build here. Kiro could lose this. This player's playing this extremely well. Kiro misses a shot. He can miss. Ooh, and off the left hand. Kiro just secures it way way close than i thought it was gonna be very well played there by kiro okay can't take the wall but veno is playing proactive right now he is looking for these kills he's not just waiting for them to come to him but 
Oh, we're versing the, the quintessential Venno skin here. We've got a fan. And already just like that, the game is slipping. The 30 bomb is slipping away from us. 13 of the next 18. 17 is very tough. This is what Cooper was alluding to. Mathematically possible to drop a 30 bomb, but with how these lobbies usually play out, very difficult. Oh, slide kick into zone. Venno <laughs> pushing him out. Unfortunately, actually saved the player. It created distance between him and Venno. And now this fight is dragging out. This is where you don't want to happen on rotating zones. Taking him too long to get this kill. Can't get the wall. Doesn't have any of the peace control. And this player is hitting the dash. And Venno is wasting a lot of time on this. Nice dash in. Literally hitting the dash now. 18 kills, 15 left. Fantastic game. Now the question, will Venno be upset if he doesn't drop a 30 bomb? That is the question. It's like watching Reed drop 39 kill win and then be upset about it. <laughs> High expectations. Oh my god, nice Venno, let's go! 10 of 12, it's doable! Very difficult, but doable. Venno playing very well right now. Trying to go for the drop down, has the cone. Player takes the floor back though. And there it is, Cooper was right. Never question the global champ chat. Still a fantastic game either way. Sitting on second high. This high ground looks to be not super stacked, but they are playing well. The high ground player is sitting back, making sure they don't expand too far to get chopped. Applying good pressure as well, which helps Venno here. High ground applies the pressure on the second high. Venno gets in. Oh, nice. Picking up some shield fish. We're choosing to carry the one shield fish over the fizz jar, which makes sense. Much easier and quicker to pop. We've got three floppers, three make hits here. This might go to heal off. Depends if someone here can put some good pressure on Venno and force him to start playing passive. Because at this point, it's looking like he's going to keep running through the lobby. Jumps the front side, gets some space between him and high ground. High ground's now single layering wood, meaning they're running out of material. Venno definitely has the mad advantage over high ground right now. Trying to hold this angle on this player. Has to prioritize the rotate. He knows he has the material advantage, like I just mentioned. Venno... Makes a play for high ground. Chooses to give it up. God, I bet all the antics and Booper watching. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Venno's getting nervous. He's on the watch party. He knows it. My man has performed on the biggest stages in the world to millions of people. But hey, the viewing party nerves. Takes the high ground. High ground's running shambles, as we said. Oh, there we go. Good pressure on low ground. This is good. Low grounds are all looking quite shambles right now. Here it is. 1v1v1. Venno doesn't often lose these. It's possible, but not likely. Four med kits, three floppers. He might even just take it a heal off for the guaranteed win. He has the material for it. These players have already dropped back early, which means Venno 100% wins this. With the meds he has, there's no way they can play heal off now and still beat him. Unless they've got... No, I don't think there's any loadout that beats this. And there it is. 1v1. Venno with the dub key. 100 beans. I can't show. Very, very well played. Good stuff, Venno. Man, we got... Ooh, okay. We're taking the high ground here. Blue's taking the high ground. Remember, this isn't about just dropping a high kill game here. Blue's just playing for the win. The high ground is the place to do it. 400, 300, 200 material. Very, very nice in the mats right now. Still has that Fizzberry to try and help him out if he gets chopped as well. We'll see. Zone pulls back. Pulls away from Lavish, but he's going to play out into the open. There's not too many old builds once they get through this edge of Lavish, so... Gonna be burning a lot of mats here, and Belusi on this high ground is saving so many. Choosing to anchor in pretty hard mats on backside. Belusi's playing this safe. He knows he's got enough mats to expend to make sure he's being safe. He doesn't have the dash medallion though, so needs to be careful. That's your biggest threat on high ground. Someone hitting you with the double dash. Double wide layering right now in metal. Doing a good job of making himself look strong here as well. Anyone looking up would know that high ground is very strong right now based on the building. Oh, nice aim with the pistol. I can see why he carries it. I'm liking the suppressor too. Give me John Wick vibes. 18 alive, 40 limbs. What's up, Poster? 
Yeah. He's choosing to stay on backside here as well. He's not rotating too far forward. It's the easiest way to make sure you get chopped out. Only rotate forward when you can connect like this. If not, sit on your back tops and just pay attention. Oh, here we go. This might be our first competitor for high ground. This is the dash medallion. It is not the dash medallion, but we have the surf witch trying to hit the low grab retake. Sounds like they're chopping him. They are. Belusi predicts this and starts popping the Fizzberry. Belusi putting on a clinic right now of how to play high ground. Playing absolutely beautiful right now. Stays close to his back top. So every time he gets chopped, he can keep reconnecting. Almost falls in the box, though. The ball, that could have been bad. Oh, good pressure. Man, he's making this pistol look crazy. Oh, my God. Is the pistol the best weapon in the game? Let me find out. Top 10, four elims. Nice. Gatekeeper shotgun putting in work. That was real, no? Choosing to keep running the gold gatekeeper over the purple pump. Makes sense. Only 21 builds remaining, though. Nine med kits. Make him more than nine med kits back in zone. It might not even go to heal off with how much pressure Kira's been putting down this game. Sorry, Belusi. Oh, he's trying to take down the players deep in zone. This play on low ground looks like they have very low material. They do. Might even be zero material. I think Belusi has the free win here. Italian's on top right now. He's taking a bit of zone to get on top of the old builds. Drops deep before he comes back to save a bit of zone tags here. Smart plays with only having zero material. Top four. We got a four-way heal off. Is nine med kits and basically zero storm damage tanked enough? It's crazy to think this might not actually be enough. We saw Pink lose earlier today with a lot of meds. Still top four. Now top three. They were fighting deep in zone, which makes me think they're both pretty weak. We should see this going down to a top two any second now. Oh my god, bro. What? Okay, well... Dude, if he doesn't win this... Come on. Seriously. Alright, top two. Come on. Three med kits. Okay, yeah, he's moving. He wins. He wins. Unless this guy's got a bunch of floppers. Like, 12 floppers. Well played, Lucy. Well played. An absolute high ground clinic. That was beautiful. He played that extremely well. Playing this so slow, but well. Promises materials right now. Top four. Where's the refresh? Come on, cringe. Come on, cringe. Hey, he's going to edit out. One pump. Ready to watch this? Edit. Oh, I thought he was going to come out there as well. No way he went back and played med kids early. If that player came into zone like he should have, cringe would have had that. And guys, anyway, let's go. Nice. Guess the mat refresh. Doesn't take any extra zone. He can go back and drop for those meds. Six med kids. Cringe is doing it. Cringe is doing really well. Ich kann nicht mehr weiter. Eight seconds left. He's only got one more build, though. He's going to start playing it seven seconds early. <sighs> Was... it's hoffen, Bruder. I think he just said he sold. I think he just said he sold. 1v1v1. Oh, v1 v1. oh wait, this up. wait, that guy's already even deeper. Cringe can see him. He's got eyes locked on him. This is winnable. There's more medkits back in zone here. This is winnable. I don't know if the guy on high ground stayed in zone that whole time. This guy definitely didn't, though. Right now, Cringe is backing up, making sure this player can't rush him because he's going to run out of mez first. Where's the third player, though? Where's the third variable? This could be a win. Stormseer's warning comes out. He's going to get through this last med kit. Stormseer's going to kick him for his med kit's over, though. This is it. He might not even get second. What is going on? Storm sickness. Oh, my God. He gets second. Wow. Oh boy. Oh boy. And it's Lucy. And it's Lucy on high ground. It's Lucy. <laughs> Can't see the name. It's Lucy. He's going to conserve a lot of materials here going over old builds. I like the fact that he's sitting low here trying to find an angle on this player. Could have worked there. Almost found a sneaky pump angle. Gets sniped from in zone. We're getting chopped by a player in zone. <laughs> What is happening now? We're going to have to unfortunately go through a lot of our splashes that would have been very good for heal off. We'll pop in a low grab here. Maybe jump up and go for a dash on high ground. 
Looks like the player that tried to take high ground is not prepared to hold it. Yep. Okay, not really sure what this player was going for. Beautiful play there from Podesai, though. Dash into Mantle. Big pump to the dome. And now we've eliminated our high ground threat. This is why this medallion is just so good. You just... That play doesn't exist if you don't have this medallion. It just lets you play the game completely differently. 13 builds. Gotta be careful. The second height, though. The second height still got metal. And we're running out of material very quickly. We're down to six wood builds. So he's only got 30 seconds left, though. He's gonna try and save as much material as he can here. Trying to force them down. They're using a lot of metal. This player below him had good material left. Got five. Zero builds. What's it going to be? Do we try to play heal off? 13 seconds early, or do we drop down with our dashes and get aggressive? Oh, I, okay. Wow, all right. Good control here with the dashes. Oh, we try to stay in zone. We're going to drop out now and play the main kid. And oh, we find a play on the way through. Only get one build out of that, though. He's going to drop back. Probably should have grabbed a couple of extra builds just in case he gets rushed, but I think we should be okay. 12 Elims, top four, six med kits. Is it enough? He did tank a little bit of Storm early here. On any other region, I would call this as a win, but on EU, we've seen people lose today with better loadouts going into the heal off, as crazy as that is to say. This should be a win, though. This should be a win. He was the last to go, but I've seen plenty of people today carry... Seven med kits, four flops, six flashes who add heal storm sickness. This is losable. As insane as that is. Top three. Top two. No, 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 no. No! Sometimes I hate being right. Let's see it. Come on. Let's finish off the game with a win. Tony with a win, Leo. Come on. Top 15. Three Elims. 32 wood builds left. The dash medallion coming in clutch right now. Leo going to the moon. He's holding. He's not giving it up. Leo is not giving up this high ground without a fight. This guy is sending his entire game on this high ground against Leo. And Leo is just not giving it up. Alright. Actually, he might not have the medallion. He might just have the dashes from earlier. Right? Yeah, he's just saved the dashes from earlier. Because he has no... Oh, no, he has, the, he has the medallion, but no mythic weapon. Never mind, he does have the medallion. Yeah, he has it. Vas-y, c'est bon. Anique ta grand-mère, frère. Y'a que des putains de... Marius, ça fait pas ça, frère. Dans la game de Marius. Sa petite mère, la pute. Ça fait pas ça, la game à Marius. Personne fait ça, gros. Mais pourquoi I Mais... don't speak French. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and guess he is flaming that kid for just constantly aggroing height for no reason. Il nous tous se box comme des petites chiennes. Pourquoi, gros Personne fait ça, frère Y'a que c'est que le monde dans mes games, gros Oh, he has basically said that guy's mother has many male partners. Oh my god, it's Batman Oh my god Get all of it and stay front. The hero Fortnite back. needs but doesn't deserve. Whatever the fuck that quote is. Go, Pink Top yeah, six, seven yeah. Elims. Does Pink win it? Nice, bro. Should I put Coached by Asian Jeff. Um, Batman. This is the most TikTok com like combination I've ever seen. Pink is Batman being coached by Asian Jeff in a solo victory cup. All my man needs to do now is hit a dance. Oh no, he's dead. Fuck sake, man! No! <laughs> no! Bro, there were six med kits, everything, bro. I stretched cones inside. I didn't even go for the body first. I put cones everywhere, bro. I was gonna win that game. Six med kits, top out. He was, he was not vengeance. Like two ticks that game. He was not vengeance.